why is Jake Paul on the cover of Sports Illustrated? Th yeah, that's a good question and definitely gonna piss off a lot of people. <laughs> It's a typical morning for Jake Paul as he drives through the streets of Dorado, Puerto Rico, a quiet beach town a few miles from the capital city of San Juan. The 26-year-old Paul has granted Sports Illustrated all access into a world where he's balancing being a social media influencer, an entrepreneur, and building multiple businesses, all while also being a full-time professional boxer. When I was leaving California to, to focus more on boxing and to get away from all of the noise, I, I didn't expect it to be Puerto Rico. I get to get my mind right, get my body right, and just focus on my craft, which is boxing and business. No distractions. It's the perfect place to train. There's nothing like it here. This is the home gym that Paul has built down here, once an abandoned medical supply building. On August 5th in Dallas, Paul brings his 6-1 record into the ring to face former UFC star Nate Diaz, a fifth time that Paul has headlined a pay-per-view card. Always wanted this Nate Diaz fight. There's been beef and animosity there for what feels like three years now. He's the first opponent in my career that when we announced the fight, he got more engagement on his social media profiles than I did. And to me, it's gonna be an exciting fight because of how durable he is, how tough he is, how good his cardio is. It's 10 rounds. So this is a test for me, and especially coming off of a loss, I'm here to prove myself again. But I'm gonna go in there and knock him the fuck out and get everyone's attention again. He has an experienced team around him. That includes Shane Mosley, the Boxing Hall of Famer, who has rejoined Paul after training him for his first pro fight. Jake, uh, learning the techniques, the basics the right way, is making him go further and further. And I think that he has a lot of speed, a lot of power. He works very hard, he listens very well. And all in all, I think that you know he has the potential to be a champion, a world champion. He has that type of mentality, fighter's mentality, to be that person. Yeah, having Shane co-sign my work ethic is probably the biggest compliment out there. He was known as one of the hardest working boxers ever. And so if he's saying that I work hard, you know, that's that matters to me more than anything. And he's been there since pretty much day one. Having the respect of my peers and other boxers means more to me than anything. Paul is also maturing as a boxer in his recovery efforts and diet. A private chef and the right equipment he hopes will improve his stamina in the later rounds of this fight. I mean, it's a whole eight week system, to be honest. Um, and we're very meticulous with what we do just to make sure that he's getting everything he needs uh, while he's training hard and the calories are coming down and the weight is coming off. And then the rehydration after we weigh in is probably one of the most important things. We want to make sure that we come down and wait to make his weight limit efficiently uh, and while maintaining his muscle mass and his strength and his endurance. I also handle his post weigh-in rehydration and refueling. So he is feeling on fire come fight night. Recovery is huge for me because it lets me go harder and harder every single day in the workouts. I'm in the red light bed with oxygen therapy after practice, ice bath three times a day, hyperbaric chamber three to four times a week the PEMF machine, which is like shocking you. And all that combined pretty much has me feeling 100% at all times. Without this, training camp is twice as hard and it's like it's damn near impossible because your body just breaks down so much. In Jake Paul's world, there is always a camera rolling. He built his fame first as a star on Vine before taking his act to YouTube. So this boxing camp is no exception. Content is king, and you never know how the storylines will play out each day. When we were filming, an unexpected guest crashed the workout. Yo, I've always wanted to keep one of these, and this is the one that came to us. <laughs> Babe. Look. Oh my God, how did you get this? This cat chose us. It, it came up to us at the gym, and it was like, clearly starving and needed water. And then its foot was burning on the pavement. 
And it's like the sweetest cat in the world. And when it's not animals sharing Jake's spotlight, it's some of the top social media influencers in the business. On this day, Daniel Mack was in town for a collaboration with Paul and Sports Illustrated to film future episodes for their channels. Everything done here is strategic. Everything is for the brand. Yeah, Jake Paul's house. This is Jake Paul. Yo, what do you do for a living? Your car's awesome. What's the deal, bro? Uh, come here, come here. Bro, don't get off my property. Oh shit, Rex, I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> I think that one was good. Yeah, that one's great. And that's showbiz. <laughs> <laughs>And it's Wednesday, so it comes down to this where it's like me by myself just posting this up, going out to like millions of people. Well, now is when I'll post and uh, we're live right now. That's it, we're live on YouTube. I think I might have already broken. It's the smallest things that will make hundreds of thousands of clicks, like difference in, in clicks. So we're number six on trending. Marcos Guerrero is one of Paul's most trusted confidants. He's his chief operating officer and executive assistant who runs the day-to-day -day operations along with the social handles. The amount of thought and detail that goes into each post is one of the reasons that Paul has become such a powerful social media influencer. I would not be here without this team and we're a bunch of misfits. We're a bunch of problem childs. Everyone provides an immense amount of value and together everyone achieves more. That's what team stands for. So there's so much going on at all times. People don't ever really realize what it takes to be in this position, but without them, none of this would be possible. I just look to the next person who's you know, maybe the best at it and say, well, if they can do it, so can I. We're all human, right? So if I really put my mind to something, then why can't I accomplish that as well? Whatever your opinion is of Jake Paul, you can't question what he's accomplished in just a short period of time. He's building multiple companies. Better, a micro betting site, an energy drink, a YouTube show, an upcoming Netflix documentary, starring in a feature film, creating content for social media, running a boxing promotional company, while also continuing to build his own boxing career. The legacy is sort of still being written, but I think the lasting legacy is changing the sport of boxing inside and out, changing the way promotion is done, getting fighters paid more, creating a fighters union, which will provide healthcare, and making the sport better than when I came into it. Because boxing saved my life. I was in a dark place, Los Angeles, lost, and boxing pulled me out of all of that and gave me this second chance to become a man, to mature, to change who I was. And I believe if boxing did that for me, it could do that for so many others.